Hello and welcome to Food with Life. I am your host, Chapati, and we're here at the Conscious Life Expo in Los Angeles, California. And again, we have a very special guest. She's a food alchemist, among other wonderful talents. And we're blessed to have our guest, Christina Avanis. How are you? How are you? Very nice to have you. Thank you so much. It's good to be here, finally. Yes. I remember a time back when I was uh, talking with you, you had just completed your wonderful book, Living yes. Beyond Organic. That's right. Tell me a bit about it and about organic from your side. Well, this book was a labor of love that was inspired uh, when uh, we had to embark upon a healing uh, journey for my husband after he had a heart attack so it caused me to uh, learn about the healing properties of food and herbs and I realized that we weren't eating right and we weren't uh, living a very stress-free lifestyle so uh, we turned our life around our health around and uh, here we are uh, 12 years later and he's alive and well and never better um, so it uh, it's a testament to the power uh, the healing power of food Wow truly by any chance we I know we recently did a show on olive oil yes and cardiovascular disease wonderful did you use olive oil in any way I do use olive oil in fact I highly recommend it the only thing is I don't recommend it for cooking mm. so uh, I recommend it in its raw state and there are a few criteria that I recommend which is first cold pressed mm -hmm. extra virgin olive oil preferably organic of course and unfiltered yes. so if the oil meets those criteria I use it and um, uh, on salad dressings and if I want it in a cooked dish I just drizzle it on top after I've cooked it mm -hmm. but because it's so highly enzymatic you uh, cook it be over 120 degrees and you destroy the enzymes yes. and it actually can become uh, carcinogenic yes. it oxidizes yes okay but it has a, a high smoke point compared with other oils yes. it does but again you if you're taking olive oil to receive the benefits of it mm -hmm. um, uh, the the cooking uh, destroys the enzymatic mm -hmm. properties yes. so um, ideally uh, you'll want to combine it with um, avocado mm. and then you have the perfect combination of oleic and lipoic fatty acids yes. that actually act as a, um, a way to eat up um, bad fats right. LDL right so and one thing I did learn um, it should always be kept in a dark container correct mm. uh, so olive oil in a dark amber or dark green glass is ideal and um, and if you're storing it um, if once it's opened you want to keep it in a container um, at room temperature only what you're going to use within let's say three days otherwise you should refrigerate it after opening oh. and then you're extending the life of the olive oil ah. mm -hmm. I know you go to stores many times you read on their labels you know <clears throat> imported from Spain yes imported from Italy right. imported from wherever you mm -hmm. know and I was just thinking, you know, wherever it's imported, it's not fresh, mm -hmm. you know, because it's, they import it and they process it and then they put it on a ship. Mm -hmm. They ship it over the seas, mm -hmm. it takes time and so on. But well, uh, unless they fly it here. Well, uh, I mean, it's difficult unless you have your own olive uh, orchards to, to press it and have it right then and there. But if it is sealed, there are three things that break it down. The air so oxygen so if it's opened of course it's going to start breaking down faster enzymatically then the other thing is heat and and the other thing is um, light like sunlight so if it's kept in a cool dark place unopened um, and used um, within a certain period of time let's say um, uh, there are dates on, on good bottles of yeah. olive oil. Let's say within one year, as long as it's not opened, it should be okay yes. enzymatically. But you need to store it properly and you need to be sure you're not cooking with it. Very important, mm -hmm. very important. I want to talk a bit about <clears throat> your experience with alchemy. Yes. You know, and the significance of that. Um, we'll touch on it quickly and then we're going to take a quick break, okay? Right. So tell me briefly. What is alchemy? Food alchemy. Food alchemy, um, as defined by me, is a taking a recipe, let's say your favorite recipe, and then I transpose it into ingredients that are 
good for you. So I can still maintain the flavors that you're familiar with because there are a lot of traditional recipes that perhaps aren't the best choices in terms of the ingredients. So I translate the ingredients into higher enzyme and um, more nutrition uh, in terms of the vitamins, minerals, um, carbohydrates. So better choices. So for example, let's say if you had a potato recipe that you absolutely loved, I would recommend that it would be red, organic, potatoes okay. or heirloom potatoes and they're usually colorful but not your regular white uh, or um, yellow potatoes. Okay. Mm -hmm. I have a question on that in just a second. Of course. Okay. I am your host Chipati. This is Food with Life with our wonderful guest Christina Avanes. Stay with us. <laughs> 